What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today is finally the day we've all been waiting for. Destiny 2 has just been announced and revealed by Activision and Bungie officially on their social media profiles. So they tweeted out these images right here. So official stuff, Destiny 2, this is your first look and it is so, so awesome. And there is a ton more detail you can actually draw from this. It does look like one simple image, not really much you can get from it. But this actually goes so much deeper than you would expect simply because this all confirms a leak we got back in August which showed these exact same images. So this is the first look at the kind of theme for Destiny 2. We've got the city on fire. It's been destroyed. This is a very chaotic look at the last safe city underneath the Traveler there which itself is not looking in a very good way. But like I said, on the surface, it looks very basic. The city is on fire. It's been destroyed or attacked, most likely by the Cabal. But where this is most interesting is if we go back to the Ant Farm leak, Ant Farm Studios were a company that actually produced some concept art that got rejected by Bungie. And these are the ones you can see on screen right now. So at the time, a lot of people thought these are fake and I in my video said, this is official stuff from Bungie. This is a real company, Ant Farm, that has worked with Bungie in the past to make actual real stuff for Bungie. And not only that, but Call of Duty and loads of other AAA games in the gaming industry. They have produced lots of actual concept art. And this was art they produced, that you can see on screen right now, that was actually rejected by Bungie. But the interesting thing is that Bungie asked them to make these images. So these are the images. And if you look at them side by side, they're almost identical. Look at the way the city is smoking and it's on fire. They're almost identical. So this is the actual same thing as what we've got before. And it's basically the city that's on fire. It's all red and smoky. And it looks like it's been attacked by something. Again, what that something is, is a whole other mystery. Most likely the Cabal. That's what my money is definitely placed on. If you look at the story-wise, the Cabal, the most likely enemy to be attacking the city. And also based on the recent leaks as well from Neo Gaff and Kotaku, they're all saying the Cabal are going to be attacking the city, and also Megablocks, the actual action figures, they did leak a scenario also that did show the Cabal Red Guard, a new faction, fighting Lord Shax in the tower. So again, obviously the Cabal, or no enemy have ever been anywhere near the tower. So simply put, if you line up all these leaks, they tell a perfect story of the Cabal attacking the city, and this is going to be the opening setting for Destiny 2, and also the perfect reason of why we've lost all of our gear, because the main thing you need to think about is how on earth are Bungie going to make it logically fit in the story that we've lost all these exotics that we've spent the last three years in Destiny 1 earning. So the most logical sense is that the Cabal simply destroyed the tower. They've destroyed the vaults and that is why we're starting from scratch. And of course that Destiny 2 poster looks very kind of like brutal. It looks very kind of like dusty and dirty and gritty. So again, it does make sense if the city is under siege and we're being attacked. That is why the Guardians had the helmets off. That's why they're fighting on earth. And that's why they're in attack mode under the last safe city, under the Traveler. So again, all these things are all matching up and all these leaks are telling a perfect story of what we can expect in Destiny 2. So the most important thing, something absolutely massive that we can also draw from the Ant Farm image leaks is actually subclasses for the Hunter, Titan and Warlock. You might also remember these are the subclasses in the exact same images that Bungie commissioned Ant Farm to produce. So what those images are are three brand new subclasses for the Hunter, Titan and Warlock. The hunter is wielding some kind of spear, like a hunter spear. You can probably throw like a javelin at enemies. The titan has got some kind of Captain America-like shield, which you can kind of move around as a portable shield, which is very cool as well. And the warlock has got these giant flaming angel wings and also a sword. So at the time, again, like I said, these did look very, very realistic. Just really kind of well thought of concepts that you would imagine for the hunter, titan, warlock in Destiny 2. And I think this is genuinely the solar subclasses for the Destiny 2 characters. I think we'll probably get all new Void, Solar and Arc subclasses. And I do think these are probably going to be the solar ones. But again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. But because all these images from Ant Farm that were rejected back in August are basically the same as the ones we've got right now for Destiny 2, we can most likely assume this stuff is going to be appearing in the final copy of Destiny 2. So on the topic of Destiny 2, some other info has also emerged today just before the announcement. And this is actually the K6 action figure, which you did see before in some recent retail leaks. They were suggesting that you would get a K6 action figure if you pre-order with the GameStop. And of course, at the time, that was just rumored. It was most likely to be true. But now we have actual confirmation that is legit stuff. And of course, I'll put links in the description to the tweets of the users who found this stuff and tweet out the images. So there you have it. It's been a long time, but we finally got the official announcement of Destiny 2. Let me know all of your thoughts and speculation and hopes down below in the comment section. And of course, any more news at all or updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and if you're hyped for Destiny 2 and more news and information coming shortly, be sure to drop a like on the video. That'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.